there's Fluffy. There's little girl. There's my bed light. There's Fuzzy. Fuzzy. And I'm going to head down the hall slowly. <clears throat> my left foot is starting to come back to normal. It's dark in this hall, so you're going to see darkness. Tomorrow, my caregiver comes up. He used to be working in the bathroom. And I'm going to my shorts. All right, these are, have to be discarded because they keep falling down, which could be embarrassing. Now, I couldn't walk much of the day today because of my foot. Now, tomorrow, this area will have more books put in. And I'm going to come around here and I have to finish picking stuff up. If I can keep from killing myself back here. Um, <clears throat> hold on. Another problem. Cats never use this. I should get rid of it. All right, this is the other bookcase. And there is a lamp back here under the giant Sylvester the Cat. So what I'm thinking, I thought this bookcase was broken, and it's not. There's a lamp. I thought it was under the Sylvester. It has to be plugged in. I unplugged it because Fuzzy has a bad habit of going back here and shredding my books. And so I have to take the bottom shelf and not have books on it. So I thought I could take this bookshelf and get rid of it, but maybe instead, with some help, I can take the books out, move it back to where the Sylvester is, and then pull this bookshelf here I'm sorry there's no light here. Pull this bookshelf back about maybe two feet. Except that that one's there taking up space. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I was hoping I'd have some room to pull this back about a foot or two. And you can see the evidence of the fuzzy <laughs> shredding my papers. And down the floor... And uh, those are all my Star Trek books. So when I get the lamp set back up in here so that Fuzzy doesn't chew on the cord, that's my big fear. I'll lose her. She'll play with the cord, bite into it, and be electrocuted. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this bookcase, but um, it may well be that I should... Here, here. Um, get these onto the other bookshelf. Move this back. Move, try to move that back if I can. Maybe I can move it back. Even a foot would be a help to make some room in here. So I will do that tomorrow with help. And continue working in this room. And uh, maybe do some vacuuming. And I will believe it when I see it. <laughs> Abram is supposed to come here on Thursday. Which will be nice if he does. But last time he didn't show. So that's what's happening there. And I did do one thing. Let me sit down. I took some Elmer's glue. Next month I will get a wooden saw and saw that shelf part off. And I glued and taped the shelf down. That way at least the shelf doesn't keep falling off. And uh, then the alien head can stay there and go from there. And... Um, if I get this cat tree out of here, 
then I can put this over there, except the heater takes, the baseboard heater takes all the room up. So I don't know where I'm going to put, I might put this by the doorway where the cat litter is. And then next month I'll take all the empty jugs and put them back in the corner, so, or stack them up over here, so they're gotten rid of. And that's the cleaning uh, progress I've made. Didn't do much today because I couldn't walk. I couldn't stand on my foot, and this foot keeps going dead on me. This is why people say, uh, well, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm moving the toes, and that's with full force trying to move those toes, and it hurts like hell. And I made a big mistake last month. I, after my eye surgery, I couldn't see. My checking account, I wrote a check for $300. My memory said $240. I had the extra $60 to put in the account, but I had to use it for bills. So I wound up being $95 overdrawn, which has put me in the hole for this month. So that's what's happening. Uh, I gave Kathy the $200 because it's important to get her and I a car. And Alien Con won't be, will be coming up none too soon. And if any of you want to donate to help me cover the expenses of the room, the room is going to kill me. It's four to $500 for the weekend. Uh, it would be appreciated. I'll post the links later on. Right now I'm going to see if Fluffy wants to go out or not. And probably go to bed and get up in the morning and start going in here. So at least I get some semblance of having this thing straightened out. And uh, uh, it would be nice one day to get rid of milk crates <laughs> and just have a bookcase and get the stuff off the floor and clothes that are sitting here and I don't know what else, a pair of pants that's sitting here waiting for me to go out with Kathy. We, never, we went out, but not where we wanted. All right, um, so it's gonna. Be, I'm I'm okay on food to eat. I'm okay on cat litter. I'm okay on dry food. My chewy order is coming in tomorrow. So the only thing that will be needed is money, and uh, I may just have to call some of my credit places and say I can't pay till the end of the beginning of May. And it'll put me a month behind. But June, I'll be okay. I will have paid off my rent. And then my rent for... Uh, rent, the rest of the rent money in June and the car fund money, that's really what's been killing me. When I give her $200, it leaves me with no cushion in case of emergencies. That will go toward the hotel room. And I'm never going to go to another convention unless I manage to save up four or five hundred dollars at least the other thing is that um, I talked to the real estate agent today and oh my god I didn't realize the time it, well one clock this is odd one clock says it's 4 a.m. one clock says it's quarter to two so I don't know which one to believe but uh, look at that there's the golf clock it says 4 a.m. there's that clock and it says quarter to two so I don't know what time it is right now but in any event I talked to the agent yesterday let me rephrase that he said there is a likelihood that the uh, land I want to buy will be available next year and that would take uh, 500 down and 200 a month and Auburn has expressed a desire to move on to land and he, once he learns welding, learns how to drive, he could be out there, build his own container house, and I can build mine. And I don't know about six-week tenure, if he's really homeless or not. But, and I found a way to make extra income once I buy the first land. Then I buy a second parcel, and uh, I can make income that. But I could theoretically make income on the first parcel if the part of the land is able to grow either crops or cattle or sheep or horse fodder. I could sell some of that maybe or rent the land out for grazing. 
So uh, if I could do that to the tune of even $50 a month, that would go a long way toward paying the monthly bill on the land. 40 acres is a lot of land. And the agent I talked to says it is buildable. There's no flooding issues. So uh, I should be okay. Um, and I'm still looking for the right kind of container house. Now I know I've got this email. I've got to wade through all my emails. The company in China will ship me a fully built container. Bathroom, living room, kitchen, bedroom for three thousand dollars another so many thousand to ship it and then put it in place and that would be the first part of my house and I have to put solar in air conditioning all of that the first thing I build when I build the land though I have a kind of a carport thing I'll set that up I got that for free and then I will build a fire pit and then um, Start looking around for somewhere to actually live in and um, put solar in, dig the well. I talked to the agent about incinerating toilets. He said Nevada is not up to speed on that. They're still in the past. And he talked to them about 10 years ago and they didn't want to do anything about the requirement you have a septic tank with a not trying to tank with the incinerating toilet, you don't need a septic tank. It destroys everything and turns it into either steam or ashes. So we will see what's happening with there. And there's that fan in the bathroom I put, I had, couldn't fit equips onto stuff. It's very bulky, but it uh, cools the bathroom off. So, but it's not enough to cool all the steam in that bathroom. When I move, and build my house, it's going to have a window in the bathroom, so <laughs> let the steam out. All right, this is George Senator, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great uh, day. Stay warm, dry, or cool, and stay safe out there wherever you happen to be, whatever time it is. Have a great day. Bye-bye for now.